Under Section 11 of the Securities Act of 1933, an issuer of a security may be liable for untrue statements of material fact made in a registration statement that's filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, in connection with a public offering. In the 2015 case, Omnicare v. Laborers District Council Construction Industry Pension Fund, the United States Supreme Court considered whether an issuer could be liable for its statements of opinion. Omnicare, a wholly owned subsidiary of CVS Health Corporation, is a company that provides pharmaceutical services to patients and health providers. In 2005, Omnicare filed a registration statement with the SEC in connection with a public offering of common stock. In its statement, Omnicare stated that it believed its contracts complied with applicable federal and state laws. In addition, Omnicare stated that it believed that its contracts were legally and economically valid arrangements. At the public offering, Laborers District Council Construction Industry Pension Fund and other funds purchased Omnicare stock. Following the purchase, the United States brought an action against Omnicare for violating the federal anti-kickback statute by receiving rebates from certain pharmaceutical manufacturers in exchange for promoting certain drugs. Subsequently, the pension funds sued Omnicare in federal district court under Section 11 of the Securities Act. Specifically, the funds argued that Omnicare's registration statement contained materially false statements about legal compliance and omitted facts necessary to make its representations not misleading. In response, Omnicare filed a motion to dismiss, which the district court granted, concluding that the statements included soft information that was only actionable if those who made them knew that they were false at the time. The funds appealed to the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals, which reversed, holding that the funds only had to allege that the stated opinion was objectively false. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.